The El Paso School District says it's dramatically cut the number of students who are chronically absent. But as this school year comes to an end, one out of five district students still fall into the chronically absent category. CBS 4 attends Harrison Parker today spoke with EPISD educators about how these absences impact students, schools, and taxpayers. El Paso School District shared with us how many students are missing classes more than 10% of the year. Now, we originally requested that number since schools are given money by the state of Texas on how many students attend per day. Now, absences had skyrocketed after COVID, leaving massive holes in school budgets. Here's one educator explaining why absences are so bad for schools. Um, that's less money that comes into the district. That's less money that is made available to buy resources and equipment and things for, um, you know, for teachers to use in their classroom. That's Norma De La Rosa, president of the El Paso Teachers Association, speaking to me about students consistently missing school. Figures from EPISD show that roughly 10,000 students miss school more than 10% of the school year. This is down from a high of roughly 18,000 in 2022, but still harms students in schools citywide. Ross Moore of the El Paso Federation of Teachers is concerned this could have serious consequences for district independence. That means their test scores are going down, which TEA will look at with a very predatory attitude towards EPISD and go, oh, can't fix our attendance problem. Scores are down. We need to put in a board of managers like we did in Houston. I spoke with one EPISD parent who is not happy with how the school handled absences. Uh, you got to call the attendance office, which is fine, but yeah. they never answer. They, the websites through EPISD, the absent reporting uh, site does not work. One recent grad of EPISD told me the district wasn't helpful with absences. There wasn't any resources available to me. Like there wasn't any advice given to me. I would have liked advice because I feel like if I was given that advice, I would actually want to come to school more often. An EPISD spokesperson told me they've added a series of new initiatives to help families get their students back in class. In recent months is uh, we have these what, what, what are called family resource centers. They're only at four campuses right now, but they're essentially like, they're kind of like a community closet and food pantry all rolled into one. Albert later clarified that the EPASD website with the form for student absences has been updated and that problem has been fixed. Now, EPASD acknowledged to us that there is still a ways to go in fixing the student absences problem. The union leaders I spoke with emphasized that parents should be held accountable for their children's extended absences. Reporting from the control room, Harrison Parker, CBS 4 at 10.